I did a video in May on changes that were upcoming to the US Figure Skating Excel series. We now have the program requirements and the changes will go into effect on December 1st, 2023. Today, I'm gonna go over exactly what has changed so that you're prepared. Hi everyone, this is Amy. Welcome to my channel. Before I get into the upcoming changes, I wanna remind you that while I'm a PSA ranked and rated US Figure Skating member coach, I am not any kind of spokesperson for the PSA or US Figure Skating. Let's start with a quick overview. What exactly is the Excel series? Excel provides opportunities for single skaters to be inspired to work on challenging yet positive and attainable goals by providing a competitive option outside of the well-balanced events that may be better suited for many skaters. Back in May, I showed you a bell curve and I love it. So I'm going to show you again. On the left side of the bell curve would be skaters who skate seasonally or a few times a week. These skaters love to skate, but may only be on the ice for two to four hours a week. The test track used to serve those recreational competitive skaters very well. More heavily invested athletes are on the right side of the bell curve with tons of ice time, instruction, and training on and off the ice. These skaters may be suited to compete well-balanced and participate in the national qualifying series that leads to nationals. Those are the extremes. Most athletes fall somewhere in the middle. These athletes can get their double jumps and maybe even a handful of triple jumps. They train hard, they work hard, they skate often, and they love to skate. Many are on the ice five to six days a week and do off-ice training as well. As invested as they are, these skaters often seek positive competitive experiences. This is the first problem that Excel is trying to solve. The second issue is to provide a phased approach from 6.0 scoring into the International Judging System, or IJS. Excel accomplishes this at the lower IJS levels by awarding level ones. And as the skaters move up, level twos are added, then level threes, all the way up through level four. This provides an excellent education on IJS as skaters continue their Excel journey. Skaters can compete at Excel free skate events at most non-qualifying competitions. A series is also involved with the Excel program. That leads to the Excel National Final and Festival. The season for the series begins in January and runs through mid-June. The Excel Series Final and Festival is in mid-July. While you can compete at any competition that offers Excel events, only competitions that are designated as part of the Excel Series will count towards your participation in that series. Let's talk about tests and the competitive floor really quick because I've addressed this in several other videos, but it's super critical for you to understand. Even though the names of the test have changed to pre-bronze, bronze, pre-silver, bronze, pre silver, silver pre-gold, and gold, you still need a minimum test to compete at a certain level. So skaters must still pass their free skate tests. However, there is no ceiling to the testing. So you can continue to test regardless of what level you compete. This is where the competitive floor comes in. Your competitive floor is the lowest level you can compete at and is only dictated by a pain EMS series application. Completing an EMS series application at a particular level in the National Qualifying Series, NQS, and or the Excel National Series will set your competitive floor for future events. It is not tied to individual competition registrations. So if you participate in both Excel and NQS, your NQS level may be one level lower than your Excel level. Anytime you enter a series, NEMS, either the Excel or the NQS series, you're setting that competitive floor, which is the lowest level you can compete. There are two different competitive floors though. One is for Excel and the other is for NQS. The relationship between the two is one level with NQS being one level lower than your Excel level. Let's say your highest singles free skate test is junior. Last season, you registered for Excel at the junior level. So your competitive floor is now set at junior for Excel. That's the lowest you can compete in. But in NQS, you're one level lower. So there you can compete in novice. What if you haven't registered for a series? Well, that means you have no competitive floor. So even if you've passed your junior singles free skate test and competed at junior in Excel competitions, but didn't register for the series or NQS, you can compete at any level in the Excel series. Of course, just because you can theoretically compete at pre-preliminary doesn't mean that you should do that. Discuss these options with your coach and select the most appropriate level for you. 
The Excel series has been restructured to avoid any confusion, streamline the pipeline, and clarify the levels. This enables you as a skater to move forward more easily. Let's dive into the 2024 Excel program requirements. For right now, we have all the Learn to Skate USA free skate levels plus Excel Beginner and High Beginner. Those have been condensed into Aspire 1, 2, 3, and 4. I talked about this in my video all about Compete USA changes. This is meant to reduce the confusion and redundancy between the Learn to Skate USA free skate levels and the beginner levels. The object of condensing these levels into Aspire 1 through 4 is to provide stepping stones to skater development. The intention is to be able to move skaters through Aspire 1, Aspire 2, Aspire 3, and Aspire 4. All these levels have a maximum 1 minute 40 second program duration with 5 jump elements and a maximum of 2 of any of the same jumps and 2 spins. One half ice choreographic step sequence. The idea behind the five jump elements is to facilitate progression. It's much easier to change a program from five jump elements instead of attempting to plug in a fifth jump and going from a program where you have four jumps to five, right? The specific Aspire 1 through 4 requirements are not in the Excel program requirements. At this point, it's implied that those levels may not be included in the Excel series for 2024. There's no official confirmation on this, so is unclear. The new Excel program requirements for 2024 go into effect December 1st, 2023. I'm looking at the most current document at the time that I'm filming. This is dated September 13th, 2023, but it's just been posted to US Figure Skating's website this week. The lowest level is pre-preliminary. Again, there is no Excel beginner and high beginner anymore. Here's what's different for pre-preliminary this year. Nothing has changed for the jumps and the spins, even though they've underlined something in the spins. I think that just might be a carryover. I compared it and I don't see that anything has changed here. The big difference is that the choreographic step sequence is now a choreographic sequence that must be clearly visible. What's the difference between a choreo step and a choreographic sequence? The choreographic step sequence with a code of CHST is vague and not defined by the ISU. However, the choreographic sequence with the code of CHSQ does have an ISU definition, which is at least two different movements like spirals, arabesques, spread eagles, in of hours, hydroblading, etc. Steps and turns may be used to link the two or more different movements together. Choreographic sequence will either be confirmed or not confirmed. Moving on to Excel Preliminary and Excel Preliminary Plus. Aside from the choreo step being replaced with a choreographic sequence, there are no other changes from last year. When we get to Excel pre-juvenile, we see this will be phased out as of January 1st, 2024. I talked about this a little in my previous video about Excel changes. As Excel moves forward, the plan is to combine some of these open levels with the plus levels to reduce redundancy. Essentially, each year they are planning to reduce one open level. Initially, when they announced this at the PSA Summit in May, they said they plan to eliminate the Excel preliminary open level first. That's what I had to report it to you in my previous video. But it looks like they changed their mind on that and decided to remove Excel pre-juve open instead. They had originally told us pre-juve would be phased out in 2025 for the open level. Maybe they flip-flop those levels and we'll see pre-preliminary open phased out next year. I don't have any inside knowledge on this. I'm just speculating about what could happen. As we've already seen, things do change. Let's move on to Excel Pre-Juvenile Plus. Outside of the choreo step sequence being replaced by the choreographic sequence, there are no other changes from last season. At the Excel Juvenile open level, They've decided to retain the full ice choreo step sequence. There are also some changes to the jump repeat rules. Axel and all other single jumps may be repeated once, but not more, as part of a solo jump or part of a jump sequence or a combination, with a maximum of two of any single jump. There are no changes to the spin requirements. In May, they told us that the plan was to keep Excel Juvenile open till at least 2027 to 2028. Of course, that can change as we've seen with the pre-juvenile open as they continue to evaluate the quality and the level of skating. For Excel Juvenile Plus, they've replaced a choreographic step sequence with a full ice leveled step sequence with a maximum level 1, which is the minimum variety of 5 difficult turns being evaluated for the level. 
The only change to jumps is the same as the juvenile open level with Axel. All other single jumps may be repeated once, but not more, as part of a solo jump or jump sequence or combination, with a maximum of two of any single jump. There are no changes to the spin requirements. There are no changes to Excel Intermediate. However, for Excel Intermediate Plus, jumps, an axle may be repeated once, but not more, as part of a solo jump or part of a jump sequence or jump combination, for a maximum of two single axles. The number of remaining single jumps is not limited, provided the maximum number of six jump elements is not exceeded. That's kind of strange the way they worded that, isn't it? Anyway, the choreographic step sequence has again been replaced with one full ice leveled step sequence with a maximum level two. Only the minimum variety of five turns and simple variety of seven turns and rotation in each direction, covering at least one third of the pattern in each direction will be evaluated for the level. For novice, the only change is that the step sequence now will max out at a level three instead of the previous level two. For Excel Junior and Senior, there are no changes. The Excel series will run from January to early June, with the finals in mid-July. Look for the list of Excel series competitions to be posted next month and Excel series registration to open in December. What do you think of these changes? Leave me a comment down below and let me know. For more information about Excel, log in to US Figure Skating Members Only, click on Skating Opportunities, then Excel. Most of the information is posted under Series Rules and Resources. I'll post more videos with new information as it becomes available. So be sure to subscribe and ring that bell so that you never miss a video. If this video helped you, please give it a like and share it with somebody else you think it could help. Just post it to your social media too. For more information about Excel, watch this video next. This is Amy. Thank you for watching. Happy skating and happy competing. I will see you real soon. Bye.